Hello everybody and hope you are doing well. This is a brand new series to the channel, go along with the other series I'm doing and this is Titan Quest, the Anniversary Edition. Now I don't really know what's happened in the Anniversary Edition but I do believe they've updated a few things. So I will try and find out what they are and let you know in a later episode. But for now what we're going to do is just going to start getting into the game. I've played this game course since 2010 I played this game and I love this game quite a lot there's a lot to do in it there's a lot of repetition which I do hope you don't mind but I love the old slash hack and all that lot uh, last time I played this game it was a, uh, a warrior class so I'm not too sure what class I'm gonna play this time so we're gonna have a look and see what there is so we're going to play single player, we're going to play normal, we are going to have a Mao character, thank you, and we are going to call him Kent Barrows, because that's who we are. So we're going to Mao, we're going to have a tunic colour of, let's go for that colour, whatever that colour is. And let's create a character. Here we are, this is our character. Now, when we play these characters, we have to uh, pretty much choose your path, I think. So we're not gonna go epic, we're not gonna go legendary, we're gonna play normal to start with. And, uh, no, let's, can't go epic yet anyway, gotta play normal. So, we're gonna start playing the game. Let's go. Let's see what this has to offer. One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow over the earth. Temples which have stood forever will be destroyed. The heavens will vanish and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the weak will have power over the strong. The poets will stop singing and instead take up the sword. It is in these darkest times that the strongest of heroes are born. Cool. So let's start. If I remember correctly, we're starting a little farming village or a little farm or farming settlement near the river. Here we go, there's a river. This looks amazing. This does look amazing. Don't know what the keys are. Is it just point and click? I think it's just point and click. I don't think there is any controls. No, it's just point and click. So is those old famous point and click games. That's what makes it so interesting. We've got our potions and attacks all down here as well. Oh, I don't know, we don't want energy regen in there. We'll sort something out with that later. So let's have a chat with our first there, character. If you come looking for rest and peace, you won't find it here, Milos. Our village has recently been beset by satyrs and other vile beasts. The help of your fighting arm would be greatly appreciated. Our farmers cannot get to their fields and our supplies are running low. Please, go down the road toward the village and help where you can. Okay, so let's... Let's just say, uh, no, we'll keep tutorial tips for the time being, just because help you guys as well understand what's going to be happening. So we've got whatever that is there, no idea. So let's go down the road. Like I say, it's point and click. What's going on here? Ah. Hello? You must have been sent by the gods. Please, in the field here, they're going to kill my horse. Okay, let's go. Just beast it. Just keep clicking. Just click and slash. Now, there is somewhere in the options. There's a quest log. Yep, there's no worries. We've got a quest log. Displays quest objectives, other information. 
Shortcut keys. Q the main quest guides you through the central story and Titan quest side quests are smaller optional adventures. Which is what we're probably going to be doing quite a lot of. So let's come out of here for a second. You saved my horse. Yes, I did. You. But I'm not the only one in trouble. Down the road there, that's my village, Kilos. We've got monsters at the gates, in the fields. They're everywhere. Okay, cool. Quest updated. Now, somewhere along up here is an options menu. Now, what we want to do is we can show monster level. That's cool. Shall we have critical damage on? Yeah, why not? Game speed, normal, English, normal. Don't think there's anything else I can do on that one. Optional rollovers, right mouse to quick sell. Enable capacity. Toggle item pickup. I think it just picks it up anyway. Don't need to know about that for the moment. Audio and video is fine. Everything's on wax up. Brilliant. Okay, sorted. So let's go down the road. Do I have anything in my inventory? We have nothing at the moment. Menus inventory, yet we know about attribute points. We'll sort the attribute points out in a later date when we get some. But for now. Hang on, what's this? This is the quest log. Cool. Now I actually, stay there for a second, buddy. Can I up the size of that? menu down there options menu uh here under video hud size medium how's that no let's go back smaller we like it smaller we've got to have it smaller sorry ladies and gentlemen but we will get this ball rolling in a second Thank you very much. So let's go down the road. T Mars horse. Can't do nothing with him. Aha, some satyrs. Let's beat the crap out of these. Coolios. Nothing else in here, so let's enter Helios. Are you running? There you go. Oh, these are rebirth fountains. If you die, you need to come around here to activate these in certain locations, and that will give you the ability to be respawned exactly where or the closest one where you die. So that's cool, that's amazing. So we know what those are. Hello, I am Ace, guard captain for this small village. We are holding up, but what's the use? If the monsters lay waste to our farms, we're lost all the same. That cursed shaman. Diomedes is tearing his hair out over it. Okay, we're going to sort out the shaman for you. What do you say? The waters within these fountains are blessed by the gods. They say when you touch the water, your soul drinks from it. Should you suffer the dark fate in battle, your uh -huh. body will return to the fountain and you may live to fight again. Cool, we just talked about that. All right, we've got. This geezer that's having trouble. Hello, stranger. I'm Diomedes, the leader of this small village. Do you mean to say that you fought your way here? Yes. Through then, please. I beg of you. We need your help. Monsters led by a powerful satyr shaman appeared a few days ago and okay. have driven us from our farms. We can hardly defend the village gates and have no one who can stop them from destroying our crops. Well, ladies and gentlemen, because we've had a uh, recent Windows update, the software is, as usual, messing around. Now, I'd just like to say, also, we got to talking to this fella, as you saw, and then it cut out. So, from this point, he told us about a satire shaman over the bridge there, which we've got to go and do. Also, what I also did was went back to where we killed the horse, and if you press the Alt key, it shows up everything that's on the floor, so you can pick it all up. And if you press A, excuse that sound, if you press A, you can collect all the gold that is close to you and anything else that is of importance. And there's all the crap stuff, all the white stuff that's not worth anything on the floor. 
Now, we spoke to this person, he just gave us a brief history of Heracles or someone by that name who was supposed to be taken over some other dude's position. Hercules, I believe it was. He's supposed to be taking the weight of the world on his shoulders now and they're looking for a new warrior hero to, uh, you know, protect them from stuff. So uh, hopefully we're not going to have any more problems with our recording software because Windows Update does seem to cause some issues. So let's get back with it. We also went over here and spoke to the merchant here. With those monsters everywhere, you better get some quality weapons and armor. So purple items obviously are going to be fantastic. They're going to be extremely better than uh I'm not sure exactly how this one works. But these are going to be better damage dealers. This does obviously fire damage, lightning damage, cold damage. So I think the colors pretty much do show you what they're going to be damage types but you can also buy different colored stuff so i think i think it goes like gold green blue etc etc on your items here so we will definitely definitely find out about that on a later date as we go through but for now what we're going to be doing we're just going to be sticking with our little dagger for now because we have no real money so we're just going to do that okay next time and go and see how fair we do this little pointy stick that we've got in our hands. Now, I do believe there will be some swearing in this episode, this series. It's not going to be over the top. It is going to be a little bit light-hearted swearing. Because, you know, I do some PG stuff on the server, on the server, on the, uh, on the channel. But this particular series could be a little bit more interesting for us. So again, I do apologise for the crappy start and I do hope that this recording software does not crap up this time due to the Windows update. So let's crack on. I can ease your load. Caravan driver storage. So he's a storage. So you pretty much, that's your little bank, so to speak. So you can find him anywhere in the world and just click on and you get your items from wherever you are. So let's go and see what happens across the bridge. Uh, see, there we go, torch. I pressed all, it stays on. So it's toggable, which is something I was hoping for. So torch. Right, let's have a, there's a satire. Let's get in here, let's slap this geezer. Yeah, we have a world map, compass of the world map. Exploring user compass map is up here and the map windows located features such as extra objectives dungeons and entrances there's dungeons etc that's cool we'll kill you all right and the map key is m let's have a look at the map key here we are sorted doesn't really tell you what's on there but we do need to kill this carrion because he's nasty so let's get out here and let's kill some of these satires. Don't take them too long to kill them. Don't think anything's dropped yet, so we can't see anything. We might have to sort of Heal up at a moment. Ah, uh, nothing of interest obviously shows up, but there is stuff on the floor around there somewhere. I think that's rubbish. That's why it doesn't show up. So that's cool. Got a ravenous boar. Kill this fella. Oh, we could die here. Oh, we did. That's our first death, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. 
So dying when you run out of health, your character will die. Yet yeah, use potions. We don't have any potions because we haven't bought any. Or do we have potions? No, we don't have potions. Your character suffer experience penalty points. That's fine. You increase your character reaches high level. Okay, sorted. Now we do have a death marker. So let's have a see what this death marker shows. Also, I did find, if you have a look at our inventory, obviously we picked up that. We found this leather harness from the dudes we killed at the beginning where the horse was. Right, done. Disease plumage. Here we are, relics and charms. Relics and charms are used to enhance the equipment. To use them, right click on one of your on one in your inventory. So this is not at the moment full, so we need to find the other half of this. There's five pieces of that one. So the only way we can get that is by killing loads of birds and hope that they all drop. So That's cool. Let's close you down. And then let's have a look at our map. Do we have a directional area we can go? Caravan dealer. Do we have a quest journal? Main quest, okay. We have that one. Can we do anything with it? Hello, stranger. I'm no, we don't need that. So somewhere along the lines we have a quest to do. And we don't have a map or a way to go. So that's fine. We, we just kill things for the moment. That's cool. That's fun. He's dead. Don't think he dropped anything. No. Here's some more satires. Oh, we've got some chests around, don't forget. We've got chests all over the place. Just slap around. Don't think there's anything. Torches, don't need torches. Don't know what we need torches for. A, does A do anything? Nope. We will open this chest. We've got some health now, so we can heal up. That's cool. And we've got a hot copper hand axe, which I think might be a bit more deadlier. Yep, we're going to put that on. Stick you over there. And I think there's where our mission is. There he is, which is brilliant. So let's have a look and see what this one does. That's a little bit more better. We'll take the copper hand axe again. Because that would be all good and dandy for selling. Like I said, I do like to uh, explore the whole map. Because there's also hidden bits here and there that we can find. We'll take that. Is that something? No, that's nothing. We could sell it, I guess. Hold down. There we go. Shall we just kill this boar here? Come on. Oh, yeah. Zibul is dead. What we're going to do is just unhook all this dark fog of war stuff. There we go. That's pretty much it. We could have done that round there. Oops, excuse me. But that's not to worry. Okie dokie. Let's get up here and see what's in the little satire base. 
you guys can run off as much as you like we're going to be coming in we have these regeneration shrines there's other shrines also that do extra damage amongst other things so this one will be regeneration which helps me regen my health so we're going to click on that we're going to grab that and then what we're going to do now is kick some butt because it just regenerates us which is amazing let's get over here let's do you coolio we'll take the bow we'll take the hand axe we'll take the pine club let's go and kill this geezer if we can We're going to run out of way for the moment because we're dying, obviously. He's a bit of a toughie, isn't he? Oh, you're down. Right, we're leveled up now. That's cool. Right, we're going to have to uh, do a little bit of a run in here. Because we've only got one health potion left. Right, as you're on your own. Can I kill you? I don't think I can. Right, okay, character window is C. We can do some other bits and pieces here now. We can do our health. Aha. We want to up our health. That's cool. We've got one more point left and we want to up our strength. Which is amazing. And that's it. Done. Let's go. This is a tough little soddy up here, so we're going to have to be treading a little bit careful up here. Let's see if we've got anything in here that does more damage than the 17 club we have. Equipped copper, that's 13. That does 17 damage, so we could try the club. That's exactly what we're saying got there. Can't we use that? Oh, that goes in the wrong one. There we go. We've got a bit of more extra shieldage now. It's night time, but let's get back into here and kick some Aino. Now, are we just going to keep whacking this as long as we can hold out for? Because this could take some time, ladies and gentlemen. He is a beast. He is level 4. Come on, fella. He's got some healing going on now. We may not do this. I don't think we will, so we're going to have to do a little bit of a run up. Oh my god, he got me in the back there, didn't he? Again, we have died. This is a fun start to the series, ladies and gentlemen. We are being ass kicked to pieces. That little bastard up there is going to have to die at some point but I do believe we're going to have to have a little bit more leveling session going on so while we're in here in the woodage we might as well just pop out here and see if we can do some more killing we need better, better weaponry that's an understatement obviously 
and we definitely need to be able to kick some butt hard and fast shall we see what's over here can we get around here we can these are easy because they're only level ones <laughs> Kill you, my fellas. Nothing seems to be of interest at the moment on the floor. But what I'm going to do, oh, I do want to do that, but what I do want to do is put that one in there. That's cool. Right click it, brilliant, sorted. We've got another chest, so we're going to go and do this chest. Hopefully, this won't be too difficult. Obviously, it's not going to be. Right, we need to collect everything. That is fantastic. That is cloth armor. We've got a bit of room, so we can take that. Where does this map go now? Let's see where it goes. I think this is it. Ah, we've got some more villages here. At harvest time, the whole village sets to work in the fields. The crops must be gathered and properly stored. We make an offering to the meter, goddess of bounty. Okay, I can't remember particularly that particular geezer. Let's pop out here quick, see what's out here. I've got another satire stuff. Nothing of interest on the floor. Although that will be. And so will that. Oh, this is a good selling point. So don't forget, you need to make money, you need to make copper. You need to get yourselves leveled and moneyed up. Because otherwise, you're not going to be able to buy nothing. You're not going to be able to do anything exciting. We've got our death stone to go and get, so what I'm going to go back here and do is sell all this stuff to the merchant. There so, we go. What suits your fancy? So we're going to sell all of this. Oh, wow. What's that one? Bronze hand axe. Does 16 damage. Compared to our... 17 and it's slow so we might take that one because it's a faster or an average speed so let's quick sell that one so you have to right click the quick sell left click the pick it up move on your own which is amazing don't need that we're not going to be keep one torch just in case we need it not really interested in that and there is a better way of doing it clicking this little icon up here is auto sort which is amazing and it auto sorts everything into the best possible position it can get it in which again is amazing so what we're going to do now we're going to definitely try and get a little bit more damage get rid of you Right, how much gold we've got? We've got 744 gold. We're trying to find something that's got a bit more damage. There's 81 on now. We've got 18 damage on. That one. The 500. Or 21 damage on a slower club. Don't want that, do we? Get rid of that. Right, okay, we have a 16 damage, or we could go for an 18 damage. You know what? We're going to go for an 18 damage just because we want to sell some stuff. There we go. Right, let's give this one little last shot at this geezer up here. He's annoying, he's big, he's horrible. We've got some 
health potions now, so that's fantastic. So in theory this time around, we should have better luck. We've given him a bit of a slap. So, let's quickly pop up around here. We've got a chest up here that we need to look at too. We might better get hold of that before he comes along and gets us. We're definitely taking that back. Can we get to that chest before he does? Okay. Come on, fella. This time we're getting somewhere. He's running away. Just keep clicking on that bugger. And you are down, my son. Coolios. No burned village achievement. Well, we've got some achievements going. That is cool. We've got a stout staff. We've got a protective wraps. We have simple sash of recovery. And we have copper bangle. And a primitive chest, which gives us some simple wraps green. So that might be interesting to look at. Let's press the A button. Let's grab all of this stuff up. Can we get all of this stuff? No. So we just grab everything here. We'll go over and grab some of these too because okay let's have a look in our inventory right we have level three player needs to be able to wear this level seven player so some of this is level requirement majority of this is level requirement game so you know that is a nice piece of wreckage elemental damage energy regeneration movement speed that could be of some interest to us later that can't go on to be any intelligence enough. Sasha recovery could be fantastic too. That needs to be player level three. Health regeneration 38%. That could be good to start off with. And then you got these breastplates, which is extra armor and intelligence. That gives us seven, which we've already got. And everything else pretty much is Nothing really worth being interested in at the moment. So, it's sunrise. We've just killed our amazing silly thing that's killed us a few times. Plus the other bits and pieces that we've had some deaths with. So that's cool. I think there's a stats in this game. We can have a look at our stats if there is one. I cannot remember. It's been a while since i played this game, but I'm absolutely looking forward to it. And I do hope at the beginning of this episode start it doesn't put you off ladies and gentlemen because this is going to be a fun series to play i love this game i've always loved this game so these are information people by the way this must be informational this must be a quest work that one out now so let's go let's have a look defeated the powerful shaman yes i did astounding your Ooh. victory today is great but I fear there will be more monsters tomorrow. At yep. least there is enough of the harvest left to feed us all. Take this gold. I know it's not much. Please seek out the Spartan general, Leonidas. Petition him on my behalf. Ask him to send a few of his warriors to protect us. And quickly, before we are again overwhelmed. Okay, we got a thousand gold, 150 experience points an updated main quest line. Cool. So we've got to find Leonidas, who we have no idea where he actually is. We're in Act 1 at the moment. So, Leonidas, where are you, my friend? No idea, so we've got to go and try and find him. I need to go and have a look at a horse. That's still giving me an issue. 
So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode, even with its small teething problems. But we will get back to this in full swing in the next episode. And I am looking forward to kick some more satire ass and uh, kill what's ever in our way. So until next time, thanks again for watching. Take care. See you soon. And bye for now.